Running Honeycomb 3.1 here. Now, even in 3.0, you could connect a Bluetooth mouse, which Mo Motorola provides. Uh, but the new thing with 3.1 is now you can connect also a Bluetooth mouse. So I'm going to walk you through that and show you how it looks and tell you what the benefits I found so far. So, first off, go ahead and turn on the Bluetooth mouse. I already did that. Go into the settings. And then under wireless network, go down to uh, the Bluetooth. And oh, I'm already in the menu, just so you know how to get there. It'll be down here, Bluetooth settings. And then look for find nearby devices. By that point, you should have already pressed to make the mouse discoverable. And there it is, popping up for me. Dell Bluetooth mouse. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Uh, it's asking to enter a pin. For this mouse, it's uh, 0000. I'm going to go ahead and do that on my keyboard since I have it hooked up. OK. Connecting. And voila. Now it shows the uh, Dell Bluetooth mouse and connected below it. So now I can go ahead and exit out of the menu. Or better yet, let me test it with the mouse. Once you put the mouse down and start moving around, as you will see, a nice little mouse pointer shows up on the screen right there. Um, it's in this kind of a bluish hue, so it actually works with my new background quite well. Don't know if that you'll be able to change colors on that later on, or whether there's an extra feature, or whether they'll add features, but for right now, as far as I've seen, it's this bluish color. If I go into settings, you can rename it, unpair, and that's about all I see in the options. So I'm going to go ahead and click back. You see it works quite well with the mouse. It's very responsive. As soon as I move the mouse, the uh, pointer follows. There is no lag, as you would probably say. Um, so that's pretty nice. Now, back in the main menu, um, one thing I noticed is that even though your mouse might have a left and right click, both of those clicks on the uh, Android um, tablet will do the same thing. So it's essentially left click and left click. So uh, just the same click. So as soon as I click on something, let's like say the browser, it'll open it up with the left click. And if I click on it with the right clicker, it does the same thing. Okay. Now, some other things to note is if you move it to the left side of the screen and click, it'll move over just like it would um, if you tap it with your finger on either side of the screen. Uh, another thing to uh, note that uh, is that if you have any programs that are like RDP tools or log me in remote desktop applications, I think this mouse is going to make it a lot easier for you to be able to navigate through a Windows or Macintosh machine remotely rather than having to tap on the screen when you need to do this finite point and click on certain areas on, on the uh, screen. Um, I also have uh, DOSBox, uh, DOSBox installed and have tried it on there. For right now, it looks like the mouse integration is not full with that program. Even though the program runs, it shows its own mouse pointer. And just like with your finger, you kind of have to click and drag to have that mouse pointer move around. So still looking for more integration to come in the future. Um, other than that, one other thing to note is if by chance you did pair a mouse, I happen to do this, so this is how I figured it out by accident, is I had this mouse paired with my uh, Android uh, Zoom tablet when it was on 3.0 to test it out. It didn't work, but I left the pairing um, s uh, saved settings in there. Once I upgraded 3.1, I tried to use the mouse with the, with the settings that were already saved in there. Nothing happened. I had to delete the old settings, repair the mouse, uh, uh, reapply it and pretty much connect it through Bluetooth again, find it and just like what we did right now and then it worked correctly. So if by chance you come across the same issue you'll know how to fix it. And that's my quick review. Hope you enjoyed.